Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode where we take a look at new mods. Um, so the first thing we have is the TLX 2020. Now this isn't a new mod, this has uh, been in the game for a little while now. But what's new about it is that we have the update for the snowplow. So we finally have a proper snowplow in the game. When I say a proper snowplow, this is coming from an American perspective. Uh, but, you know, this is... This is the plows we have in America, and we have the salt spreader on the back of it, so very cool. I'm very excited to see this in the game. Uh, we are on Sandy Bay, and I do have seasons on with the uh, uh, the Snowylands Geo. So first things first, before we take a look at anything here, let's take a look at the store, shall we? So I see the truck is the uh, TLX 2020 single cab and the TLX 2020 single cab 6.7 liter. I've shown these before, so I, I'm, I'm not going to go over that again. But what we are going to go over is in miscellaneous under tools. And if we scroll all the way over, so many mods to get through here. Ah, okay, here we go, right here. 82 squared tools. So we have the salt spreader. And we have the snow melter. So the salt spreader, it does just that. It spreads salt, and it'll melt small layers of snow. The snow melter, guys, this is the one that's uh, pretty cool. So basically what this does is it injects an additive into the salt that melts the snow and ice. And I think what they're trying to go for is that, I know where I live, um, they, they kind of do this uh, like saline mixture. Um, when it gets really bad, well, they'll mix like uh, a little bit of like water with the salt, and it'll it'll melt the snow quicker. Uh, so there's that, and then we have the actual snow plow. So when we take a look at these, and take a look at the options on salt spreader, we have main color. You can change it, and you can you know anything you want. You can have it matching or whatever, whatever you want. Rotor, you can have a single or a double rotor. And lighting, you can have standard or you can have strobes. And I think, yeah, the strobes are like right there. Now, on the snow melter, this one here, you can change the main color and you can change the, de the design color. And as you can see, uh, the main color is the, uh, the main kind of body of the snow melter. And the design color is all the yellow you see. And same thing, single or double rotors, uh, standard or strobe for lighting options. Snowplow, main color, and design color. And as you can see, like the main color is the actual color of the blade. And the design color is the uh, all the uh, black accents. And you can change that. To whatever you want as well. You can put lights on it. You can have yellow. Without lights. White lights. Uh, standard. You can have strobes. Upper left. Upper right. Uh, on the blade. Right there. You can see them. Or all strobes. So that's pretty cool. So even like that. This is uh, the price is... 2450 doesn't matter what options you do on it. Obviously, if you change the colors, you'll have to pay for that, I believe. Actually, you know what? Let me check that. So, main color, let's just go chrome. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's... Uh... Okay, so the design color they charge you for, but the main color doesn't seem like they do, unless it's the standard ones. But, uh... Yeah, so even though they're like thirty-six fifty for the plow, that's not bad. The uh, snow melter and soul spreader are both seven thousand. Um, again, you go over to the big bags and to the objects, all the way over to the end, and it's just your standard rolled salt big bag. Is what you fill them with. So uh, let's get in the truck and, and see what it does, shall we? Now, I have the salt spreader on the back of this right now. So just to show you guys what this does, if I turn it on, 
no, wait a minute. You know what? <laughs> okay. This isn't. This is actually the snow melter. So let's. Uh, so I have this big pile of snow over here. So just to show you guys. And honestly, with the snow melter, you really don't need to plow. Uh, I mean, we have this big pile here. Turn it on. Gone. It just melts it. And uh, that is the snow melter. Now, just to show you guys the difference, which uh, we do have a salter in the game. The, uh, the Howard Snowpack. And uh, it works very similar to that. But, for the sake of the video, we will attach this and just show you guys the, uh, the difference. So, if I back up to the snake, this, this name? Oh my god. If I back up to the same pile of snow with just a salt spreader on, and I turn this on, It only melts uh, a little bit of it, and that's what the salt does. As you can see, it's just not really doing anything at all. So, I mean, they're both seven grand, and they use the same kind of salt, so <sighs> it's probably a no-brainer to just go with the snow melter. But if you're doing kind of a role-play type of thing, um... Well, you know, I don't know. Like, yeah, you can even use that for a roleplay type of thing, I guess, with the plow, if you really wanted to. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, so with the plow, you're going to unfold it. Oh, let me select it. Unfold the plow. L1 and up and down. Moves the plow up and down. Left and right on the right stick. Tilts it left and right. It, uh, it's a plow. I mean, it does. It does what a plow is supposed to do. And, uh, that's good. That, you know, I, I, that's all I can ask out of a mod, really, is that it does what it's supposed to do. That's kind of the best part, um, about it. You know, you can't, you can't really ask for much more than that, right? Now, I think this is a fantastic mod. Um, you know, again, there's a lot of people that don't play with Seasons. So, obviously, this isn't a mod for those people. Um, but, and oddly enough, wait a minute. It did say that you can use that as a leveler. So, let's, uh, let's take a look at the levelers. Okay, so right there, the 85... Square Tools Leveler Plow. So you can get this as a leveler. So uh, if you want to level out that uh, silage or, or push around, um, you know, any crops you have, yeah, you can get this one. You can get it without lights. And it looks like it's going to be the same thing. White, yellow, without lights. And I'm sure it's going to be standard. Upper left, upper right, blade, and all strobes. And it looks like you can change the main color and the design color. Now, although this is showing it's all one color, so let's just, uh, yeah. Yep. Same thing. So, uh, and that's only $24.50 for that. So you can push around your silage and, and stuff. So, yeah, very cool. Very cool indeed. I like that. Now, with that being said, guys, uh, I kind of just wanted to address something that I've been seeing a lot of um, in the community on Facebook, and that's like all this hate that mods are getting and, and modders are getting, and, and you know, um, I don't really understand it. Like, I really don't know what people want out of this game, and I really don't know what they want out of the mods. Uh, it's like... If you don't like a mod, you just don't have to install it. 
it's not it's not really that big of a deal you know just don't install the mod you don't have to bash the modder you don't really have to bash uh, the game for it and I mean hey if there's something in the game that you really want um, that a modder's not making well then try your hand at modding like you know it's like it's like anything you know, you always have to start somewhere. And that's uh, that's kind of what I feel about when I see certain mods that we get a lot of, like uh, three meter cultivators, let's say, right? We all know that we get a ton of three meter cultivators, and let's be honest, who's using all these three meter cultivators, right? I don't think like a ton of people are using three meter cultivators. Um, it seems like the really small maps aren't very popular. Although, I do enjoy farming on small maps. Uh, but yeah, but, you know, I look at it this way. I don't mod, so I have no idea what goes into it. And maybe... Uh, a 3 meter plow is like the easiest thing to mod. It's kind of the easiest thing to, to get your feet wet in modding you know I, I don't I don't know so I looked at it that way so obviously like I'm not gonna download every three meter cultivator three meter plow or three meter anything that comes out because I just I'm not gonna use it so what's the point in downloading a mod that I'm not gonna use um, but also, I don't go online, and I, I don't complain about it, and I don't bash modders for not um, giving me things I want in the game. Because, you know, these modders, they're, uh, they're not getting paid. <laughs> you know, they're just doing this because they want to. And I understand that, you know, with the internet, it's just... It's just what we get with online, you know, I mean, when people go online, they kind of have a free pass to act and say things that they would never say and act certain ways that they would probably never act in real life. But I just think it's sad that when people get that angry and hostile over you know something like a farming game this is such a chill game like I've seen a lot of negative things about this truck you know and honestly I just I don't know what people want you know um, obviously you know you see those guys that they want everything John Deere but at the end of the day in the game a tractor is a tractor in this game a John Deere will not do any job any better or any worse than any other tractor that we already have in the game. You know, it's just how the game is. You know, you're not going to hear anybody play this game and go, well, you know, uh, every time I buy a New Holland, uh, the damn thing breaks down on me. <laughs> it's, it just don't work that way in the game. You know, they, uh, they have a license for these things. And these manufacturers, they don't want their game, they don't want their uh, products being depicted as, you know, unreliable or as something that's going to break down, you know, or anything like that. So literally, everything in this game works the same way. It, it works as it should. You know, it works fine. You know, unless there's like a problem with the mod not working. Now, for example, this truck, a lot of people said that they were having issues with it rolling over. I've never had that issue. Um, you know, so I don't really know what the deal with that is. I'm not really sure if it was fixed because, like I say, I, I wasn't having the problem. So I really can't say. But anyway, yeah, I just, you know, I want to say is that, you know, 
we don't need to be so critical of things that, you know, we don't like or we don't want. Um, you know, it's like we got the coffee mugs in the game. And do they serve a purpose? No, they don't serve a purpose. But you have to remember, it's this game is a sim. It is a simulator. It says it right in the title, you know, and I'm sure farmers drink coffee, so why not? And another thing that I, I think is that, you know, some mods, and I've said this before, some mods are great for us content creators because there's lots of things we can do with it. Like, for example, like the, the coffee cup, you know, um, if I wasn't doing content, I would probably never use a mod like that, but I have used it. Yeah, my, uh, my roleplay series. And it's just one of those things. This mod I will definitely use, and I'm not trying, I'm not, like, trying to get anybody's hopes up, but the NMC guys, I guess, are trying to work with A2 Squared to see if they can get this plow and the salters working on their trucks that they're working on. So, uh, if that can happen... Oh, that'll be, that'll be amazing. But anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's the video for today. I just wanted to show you this, this plow. I think it's fantastic. I like it a lot, you know, but then again, I'm, I'm from upstate New York. I'm from an area where, you know, this, this is my reality every winter. You know, uh, we get a lot of snow here and plows and stuff. So I, I'm really happy to see, like, a a proper kind of plow in the game and I think I think they did a really good job um, I think the truck looks good I think they did a good job with the plow I think they did a good job with the salters and uh, yeah overall I think uh, FS19 I think the mods are amazing in this game like I've seen some people like I actually had someone comment to me that this game is horrible the mods in this game are, are horrible and I just I was just stunned. Like, I couldn't believe someone even said that because, you know, to me, this game without the mods it would get so boring so fast. So, you know, but everybody has their opinion. So, you guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Join my Discord. I will leave the link to that in the description. As always, I thank you for watching. And we will see you next time.